G'day, welcome to Marty's Beer Show. Right to the hard work, our drinking beer, so you can just uh, enjoy it. Uh, now today we're looking at these guys. Um, can't think of how to categorise them, but we're just going to say the new kids on the block, the next generation, the heirs to the throne of the, uh, the, the big main four beers, which I've done a video on up here, you can have a look at, but uh, I feel like these are the next couple beers that are on tap now that are the next, the next thing, and uh, you know, they're mixing up, if you're sick of the old tried and tested, this is what's uh, happening, so uh, starting out with this little guy, he's a uh, furfy Refreshing ale, uh, pretty new around these parts uh, where I'm at. Uh, Little Creatures Brewery in Geelong. Uh, it says it's good. Um, uh, yep, yeah, so it's got a few little things, facts about it. It's a full strength beer, four point four percent. Little stumpy little bottle. Let's uh, twist top. That's good. That is good. Now. Get it out of the bottle to make it a bit easier for the next test of uh, beer, which is the, the main part. Now that's that's looking pretty good. That's it's got a bit more of a smooth pour, nice head, couple of bubbles, just looking like a decent beer. Smells standard beer. Yeah, tastes like beer. That's good. That's um, that's pretty refreshing. A bit heavier than uh, than uh, some beers, but uh, it's got it's definitely got that thick beer, that good good beer taste, like just a generic um, standard beer. Uh, it does taste just it tastes like a lot of other middle of the road beers, it's uh, nothing nothing stand out, um, it's not bad, it tastes good, um, not much not much to say, standard beer, um, yeah pretty decent, let's uh, no, it's a bit, a bit heavier but I'll, I'll give it the, give it a skull and see what I, um, what are my thoughts on the scale of that is it at. Oh yeah, on the um, on the scale, that's that 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 gets a good out of ten. So that's furfy refreshing ale. Pretty good. You see that that's getting everywhere now. So yeah, beer. Uh, next guy. Now this is really this is really getting around um, a lot of people who are yeah again sick of the same old same old. One fifty lashes, James Squire, pale ale. Now it's a bit more of a uh, easier to drink beer. Um, yeah, it says it's full of character, hints of passion fruit and grapefruit. I don't know. I don't know. It's a weird selling point. So it's four point two percent. So a wee bit less than that one. One point one standard drinks. Oh, should do my research on these so I don't get caught out like that. But let's never leave home with that one. Uh, yeah, it, does, it has, a, has a bit more of a different smell, slightly less beery than old Freddy, uh, Freddy, Furphy, Furphy over there. Now, that's looking a bit clearer, that's looking a bit clearer. Still, yeah, st oh, the head's kind of heading off, but no, it's good. It's, uh, it doesn't smell as strong, but... You know, wow. Wow, that's um that's unique. That's definitely um that stands out a bit. It's definitely got it's got a very subtle beer flavour. But uh what do they say? Greb Greb grapefruit, 
passion fruit. I don't, I don't know about passion fruit, but there's definitely um something in its bit. Yeah, it definitely has a bit of a, a craft beer like quality to it. Um, the sweetness, a bit of um, a bit more interesting, a bit more interesting. Um, possibly, possibly too interesting for people who are um, after your bog stock standard tap beer range. Um, it's leaning towards craft beer sort of taste, but if that's your thing, yeah, I reckon this could be, this could do well on the scalability scale, but uh, we'll find out, find out. This is how you find out. Yeah, as I thought, quite easy. I like that, that's good, that's refreshing. If you like craft beer, that's, yeah, I reckon if you like craft beer, that's probably your, well that's the only one tap I can get. Do it all, one of them. James Squire, 150 lashes. There's a story behind it, but you know, you've got the internet, Google. Um, Iron Jack, full strength lager. Um, 4.2%, 1.1 standard drinks. Um, this is from Legendary Brewing Co. I've not heard of them. Um, uh, from Brizzy, Milton. There you go. But, um, yeah, these are starting to pop out you know, on your taps quite a lot. They're uh, getting quite popular. Um, they may, I think they might have a mid-strength in the other one. And there's coordinates on the bottom of the cap. If you can read that, that's actually my coordinates right now. Um, better cover that. But, yep, Iron Jack. It's a picture of a dog on there. I also like dogs. Uh, but don't give your dogs beer. Um, not this guy on the bottle. Now, that's looking very clear, very crisp. No cloudiness to it. Good little head, good good amount of bubbles. Smelling, it's not like much, just a little bit of that beer smell, which um, is definitely a good definition of beer smell. Hmm. Oh, it's just nothing there. It's almost like I forgot to take a sip. That's yeah. That's a that's interesting. Not inter That's not interest. That's not not interesting. That's. Did I get the right one? Yeah, it's a full strength one because that's that tastes like a mid strength beer. That just tastes. That's refreshing. It's not that sweet, it's uh, it's not bad, it just doesn't taste like much, it's kind of just a... Oh, it's kind of like just hot, hot summer day, bung a few of them up here, and uh, yeah, if you don't like, maybe if you don't like the taste of beer, that's probably for you, because it just doesn't taste like much, uh, which can be a good thing, there's uh, horses for courses and what not, but um, so I reckon scalability should be high with this one, but we'll make find out. Piece of piss that one. Um, if you got still your training wheels on, probably that's a good one to um, start learning how to scale beer. Um, but there you go, Iron Jack. Not much happening there. And uh, so, next fella is Great Northern. Original. The white fish. There's two of these. There's a black fish, which is your mid strength. White fish is full strength. Again, I hope I got that right. Uh, because otherwise I'll start again. No, I got it right. Good. Yeah. So this is kind of... It's been around a couple of years. I think I don't know exactly how long. However long, but you know, I'm sure I don't keep a diary when new beers. Well, maybe I should do that. No. It smells a bit more uh, refreshing, -er. refreshing, more refreshing. It smells a bit more refreshing. -er. 
And that pour is pretty good. That's got the clear, like these two, a bit more clear as opposed to the old cloudy, cloudy Jimmy over here. But let's uh, dig in. Oh. Yeah, again, again, not much going on. That's uh, just how the vanishing act. Yeah, just like, you open the door and he kind of just sneaks past you. And doesn't even say hello. It's just, it's good. I mean, it's definitely good. Um, it's probably a, a market for these sorts of uh, middle of the road, just uh, not interesting. You just want to just drink a few beers and not think about it. Not, um, not have to worry about tasting at all but it's not bad it's not bad it just doesn't taste like anything um so i've got a feeling it'll scull down pretty well but mm. i was right as usual straight down the hatch so um yeah great northern original whitefish uh and there you go, that's what, that's my uh, review on four beers that I think are like the ones that I see sometimes on tap as the next gen, the next generation, that's, we could call that, no, the next, doesn't matter, but what matters is which, what, which one I reckon is the best, and now, um, this is all, you know, it's up to you, but it's up to me actually because it's up to me. So I prefer craft beer at a time. So I reckon because of these are all a bit middle of the road, I think the winner stands out. Something different. James Squire 150 lashes. It's uh, it's really uh, it's making its mark in the uh, game. Beer, drink, beer drinking, or beer be just being beers. Um, uh, yeah, something about whatever. If you drink beer, story goes, some guy was caught stealing beer, and he got lightly with 150 lashes was his punishment. There you go. What a great story. Uh, James Squire, 150 lashes. Go get it. Sweet as. All right. Thanks for watching Marty's Beer Show. That's enough from me. Um, thanks for watching what I just said. Um, remember to like and subscri subscribe, I think, because that's just, just good for me. And leave me a comment um, about how many beers you've had and something else about beer. And I just say stuff like, Marty, you should try this beer because it's good. And I'll do that. And then I'll film it. And then I'll play my piano pre and uh, anyways, cool. <laughs> Bibi.